won't take you that long. It won't take me that long. <laughs> Hour and a half. <laughs> See you later. Cheers, Marcus. Got me a text when you're back. I'll be a ring anyway. Okay, then. <laughs> Oh, how you doing, me muckers? So, <coughs> I'll tell you bye. Um, so, I'm just currently waiting for Rev to turn up. Um, and then we're going to go up to the Riven Calf. But I just want to tell you about this little experience I had yesterday. So, I've been. After BMW shafted me, I kind of fell out of love with BMW, so I went to go and test ride a um, Tracer 900 GT um, really nice bike but what I will say is it's the best way I can describe it is it's not as plush as the BMW you sit on the BMW and it's really comfortable, really nice, position's nice. I sat on that tracer and straight away you could tell, not being bad, but it was, you, you could tell the, the different entry levels. You know, BMW was at 20 grand and that was at 14. But, uh, but what I wanted to tell you was... That sounds like a bike. Yeah, so they ran me back. Because I says, oh, I'm going to try more bike in. They ran me back. And they offered me 11 and a half grand for my bike. And I just started laughing on the phone. And uh, the black went to me. I'll take it that I... <laughs> I'll take it that I what you wanted. And I was like, no, mate. That's f that, that, that is... I, I can't believe you've had the... The balls on the neck, really, to, to ring somebody up who's got a, you know, paid 20 odd grand for a bike last, you know, two years ago when you're offering me 11 and a half grand. Um, so, so, so I'm keeping the BM, basically. Um, I'm going to stop taking it to BMW for the servicing. And I'm going to get serviced elsewhere. Um, because, yeah, it, 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 it's just, the cost just racking up now. And I'm going to keep the bike anyway, so for me having a stamp, just ain't worth it. Um, I wanted to keep the stamps up because I wanted to try this in against the new 2023 one. But, looking again, looking at the costs of them, the service costs are more than what they am for the, for the 1250, so it's it's kind of pointless, I think. So I'm going to keep it. Tart it up a bit. Give it a bit of TLC. But yeah. Let's go see if we can fucking see Rev Bomb. See in a bit. Here he is. Mr. Rev Bomb. Hey, you alright, Walker? So we're going to, well, basically now, we're going to head up to, um, it's quite a big cafe around here called the Raven Calf. It's a bit like the Super Sausage. Whoa. So, yeah, um... I'm gonna go right here, mate. But as you can see behind me, we've got the one and only Rev Bomb. He's made the journey up north to come and meet me. So yeah, we're going to uh, 
We're going to go up to the uh, the Riven Cafe, have a breakfast, have a chat, shoot the shit. Stay with us. If you look across here now, there's there's two other calves down there as well. Yeah, there's a calf there, which is the midway truck stop. And then you've got the old boys calf down at the bottom. But yeah, this is quite a big uh, quite a big meeting event. This is so on a Thursday night that'll be at that, that car park will be absolutely chock a block. The road will be chock a block, but you get all sorts here. You get MCs, fucking blokes coming on the round, everything. Just, just loads, 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 and loads of workers. So, uh, so I'll catch up with you in a bit. So, just left ref bomb, good blast out. Um, like I say, nice to meet up. Nice for him to come up here, to be fair, and uh, and have a ride and show show him a few of the little uh, nice roads that we've got quite local to me. Um, so yeah, so stay safe, keep your family safe, and if you could all do me one thing, please, just smile. Come on. Cheers, me walkers. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Till the next time, let's be the piggy boy, I'm out. <laughs>